Hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. Right, so in this episode what I'm going to be doing is just some odd jobs that pretty much I've neglected to do. So a lot of it is with the animals. Um, definitely got some cleaning up to do, feeding, all that kind of stuff. We're going to try and just sort out a few bits and bobs. So there's not going to be one thing in particular, it's just going to be a load of things. I've also made a few purchases but we'll hopefully get to use some of them. Because uh, I do want to start filling up this slurry pit here with what's over at the, where the bulls are. So I'm going to transfer that over. So let's start off by sorting out the cows over here. Now this I tried to clean up and it wouldn't pick it all up for some reason. It just left like a, a basically thin layer all the way across. So I've had to delete that out. Um, I did use the telehandler that I've got and just moved as much as I can into this manure pit. But... Yeah, didn't, didn't kind of work, so I've had to clean it all out. So what my plan is with the cows, milking cows, what I'm going to do is fill them all up with, obviously, these that are now fully ready to move over. Uh, and then what I'm going to start doing when it's full is I'm going to start selling the actual cows that are in carving because I do want to fill this up with just cows that aren't in carving that will produce milk because I keep having this issue where every now and again, well, all the time really, I'm having a... A message pop up saying there's no more space for them so it's just getting a bit uncontrollable so i think the best way to get that problem completely dealt with is to just replace all the carving cows so if we have a quick look i think this pen holds 30 so we're seven off so what we need to do is get this full with the other six i'll have one space left keep obviously moving over the calves that come out and then eventually just replace them with the ones that are in carving, so that's 10. So it probably will take a bit of time to do, but that's going to be my long-term plan. So first things first, let's feed the cows right now, because they're obviously in some need for feed. Some need for feed. I wonder if I can actually scoot past there. I'm hoping I can. Fingers crossed. Probably not. Definitely not. Shouldn't have done that. Wait a minute, I might have made a bit of space for myself. Just about, there we go. So let's just use this because there is some TMR in here. Fill the feed up and then we'll go and take it over to the actual TMR mixer. Park it up. I'm going to need to bring some straw bales over at some point as well. I don't know if I'll do that in this episode because I think we've got plenty of straw. And they are making quite a lot of manure. Probably too much really for what I need. This will just be fine to just park up out of the way. There we go. Job done. Right, so I've just picked up this tanker. I'm going to fill up all the milk from the cows and the goats. Bring it all the way over to the trees area and we're going to stack up as much as we can so we can make some serious cheese. I do want to fill up that storage area. Now I have been messing about again with XMLs, kind of addicted to the messing with the XMLs on this game. So I've upped the... I think I've actually upped the bucket to something crazy, like 5,000 litres or something, just to make my life so much easier. A little bit too much obviously, but it doesn't matter. Now I think that I can... Let's just try and reverse this a bit better. There we go. Now if we open the lid, I think if I activate this over here, bring up the F1 menu, start that up, start the milking process. There we go. Now I do know there's quite a bit of here. Now, I should be able to, I'm sure of it, toggle between how I want to empty it. So if we want to activate the trigger filling, there we go. So now it's activated on the trigger filling. I don't know why I've got some water here. That's strange. I remember filling that up with water. And we don't have to keep using the hose. It might be easier. There we go. So this should hold more. I think it's 18,000 litres. And if we go in here... It's still milking, but obviously it's emptying out everything that it's doing now. I'm sure the 
cows did have quite a bit of milk. Yeah, they've got 9,000. So that's going to get through that. And this is going to fill up at the same time. Which is pretty good. And then we'll go over to the goats, get that sorted, do it all in one go. Probably get a bit of cheese going on while we go and do all the other jobs. So I'll leave this filling up. Shouldn't take too long. Right, so there we go. It's now full. 5,900. I was about to say 59,000, but it's 5,900 left in there. So I, st I did stop this. Uh, but we just need to fill this up. It'll fly up now. It's much quicker than the actual milking process. And there we go. Job done. Now I'm hoping that I can somehow back this in. That is what I'm going to try and do. Now, <laughs> probably going to fail miserably at this because for obvious reasons. But I'm just trying to imagine if I didn't have the hose connections on. And I've beached it. I always tend to beach it around here. There we go. So we're going to have to connect up on this one, unfortunately. I did want to try and fly through this, but we'll get it done. Just connect up. It's weird how some of them have the connections and others don't. This, this, uh, it seems this map really does depend on it. Right, so if we can get the, if we can do this properly, we'll be able to. There we go. There we go. That's that one, and then open up that. I think we want to change it to empty. And there we go. And this now should be going down. If we open up this. This one should be going up. So let's have a look at how much milk this holds. 2,500 litres. <laughs> I really did go crazy with the bucket. But it makes my life a lot easier. So let's drop one of these out. Put some of that in. And we'll also put it over here, ready for the goat's milk. There we go. Try not to drop it in this time. Put it back up there. Job done. So, turn it on and we'll leave that processing. So that's, at least that's that one going on. Now, it seems to only hold 4,000. So if we can just fill this up. The beauty of having a massive bucket. I might actually spawn in a few more buckets so I can get the whole amount in. That's actually a good thinking. I know this isn't the way to obviously do things, but this is just going to make my life a lot easier. And technically, as I've been playing this map this way, been doing loads of different things, it's not too bad. So why don't we buy, I'd say, three buckets. Magic buckets that hold so much. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just... Oh, there we go. We'll send more of it. I think we've got 10,000 still left in this. So I did say that this episode was going to be a bit of a strange one. And you can probably tell now why. We've got buckets of milk that can hold 2,500 litres. Loads of odd jobs going on. But you can understand why I'm doing it. It's going to make my life a lot easier. I need to get to that bucket quickly. I'm hoping it empties quicker than it fills. It is. That's good. It's weird how it only holds 4,000. Maybe I should edit them as well. How much have we got left in here? 5,800. But it has stopped. So let's carry on. Should have enough. So let's carry on filling it up. Right, so there we go. I've actually got a few more buckets now. I've filled up what was in there, the goat's milk. I've got four here ready for the goat's milk. Filled this up, so that's going. Also, this one's obviously going. And then I've got this many buckets of milk. 
So that's pretty cool. And then 2,335 litres left of milk. So let's go and get the goat's milk. Probably going to have to look at that uh, ditch to the side there where the tanks are for the milk, the cheese, because yeah, it's a bit of a pain that is. It's quite steep coming off and I always seem to get beached up. So we've got a message popped up saying there's no more space for the, obviously, the calves, which we are quite used to. But then there's also a message about the piglets, so looks like we need to start taking some of the suckling pigs over. Now I'm hoping that this should just fill up. Because I remember there is no hose connection. Hmm, that's, that's a bit strange. Zed for filling, maybe? Nope. Definitely holds goat milk. It's got to. There we go. It just didn't like where I was. Let's just leave that going. While I'm here, I'll sort the goats out. So they definitely needed some water. But I actually think they're not too bad for everything else. So, yeah, just water really. Could do with a bit of silage. Right, so there we go. That's all the goat's milk. 12,000 litres, which is definitely a good amount. Going to hopefully pick up this straw as well in this episode. Going to try and turn it into compost because it's good money. And I have probably spent about 200,000, so it'd be good to try and claw some of that back. So, same again. Sorted the cows out anyway. We sorted the goats out, but we do need to transfer over the actual calves that have grown up. So, we're not fully done with the cows just yet. There we go. Just about made it. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get this, but there we go. We got it in the end. Now, if we just press that. There we go. That's that. Right, so this should be filling up the bucket because it did place it underneath, which it is. So when it's full, I'm going to move it just over here. Kind of line them up like I did with the other ones. It just means we can actually have the space to, to do this. Now, I'm hoping I won't need to buy any more buckets, but if I do, then we'll have to obviously buy more buckets. But they are holding a serious amount. There we go. Another one. 2,500 litres in this bucket. Crazy, I know. Ooh, I think, try not to lift them over. Because it kind of empties into the other bucket. There we go. So what I'll probably do is let them fill up. And then I'll start emptying more in from the tanker outside. Kind of makes more sense. Again, didn't want to do that. There we go. So, we'll let it fill the last one up. But what I will do is go outside and uh, turn the pump on. 5,000 odd litres left. So fingers crossed, we should be alright. We might have to get another bucket. Right, so we're all full up on that one. Now, there was a tiny, tiny amount left in the tanker, but we're not going to need it for anything else. So we'll just leave that processing through. Um, and then let's go and sort out the calves and move them over. Well, they're not calves anymore, but we can move them over anyway. And then we'll move the actual calves back over here. And we're going to have to do a bit of milk and stick some straw in, so I'm hoping I've got quite a bit of milk in it. I've got some, but probably need to make a bit more. Now this bucket of water is actually going to probably mess me up, thinking about it, because I have increased the volume, so we need to be careful with that. So let's go and jump over to probably the Deutzfar 900 series. So while I'm here, I'll quickly talk about the things that I've purchased. So I've 
purchase this class Cargos it's called I think Cargos 9,500 now it does hold more than the one I originally had so I did sell that the one that comes with the additive uh, because I thought this looks pretty cool and it's brand new so it's, it's yeah it's much it's it's definitely an upgrade so I thought I'd get that and spend a bit of the money we've earned so another thing that I bought was this truck and this tanker now the reason I did this is just because I've been using them quite a bit so I thought I'd invest spend a bit of the money that I've earned and we've got our own now so this is actually something that we've uh, purchased and it's brand new so it should last us out and I decided to get this universal tank holds 30,000 litres or pretty much a lot of stuff really so we're going to use it primarily first off to move the slurry over from where the young ball's over just over in that direction to the uh, slurry holding pit down here because it just makes sense to have it all in one area so I'm hoping to get around to that in this episode depends how far we get on I didn't want to get in that I want to get in that So let's go over, pick up the calves. Well, I keep seeing calves, but they're not. They're still technically young, but the heifers aren't they? There we go. Now it does keep weirdly keep disconnecting. Do it again. That is strange. just have to keep connecting back up for some reason I don't know so let's drop these off now I think the actual trigger is just about here we always seem to forget I think it's moved a few times so I think we are like I said one left that's all we've got Oop, didn't actually confirm that there we go So that's that job done. So let's park this up. I do like to keep this here because I actually remember where I've put it. It took me ages to figure out where to put the gator, but I do know where it is now. It's actually at the biogas plant. And the reason it is, I find it difficult to find that is because I've actually used the, the mod where I don't skip through on that where I'm tabbing along. So I kind of made a mistake there, to be honest. There we go. Finally got the gate open. So I think we've only got three at the moment. So we don't need to worry about that. Let's pick up one of these bales. There we go. So we definitely need to bring some straw over after this. There we, that should be enough now. 2,000 litres left in that. And then all we've got to do is let's walk these over. And then what I'll do is feed them some of the calf milk replace it or the calf milk. And I'll be good to go. Right, so I'm just filling up this one and topping up the second one. All the rest are full up ready for when we get three more calves. So that's job done. We can turn that off, drop it there, and now Happy to say that all the cows are pretty much happy. Well, we got a calf already. That was quick. So they are throwing them out. Like I said, as soon as I get the extra 10 on top of filling it up, so there'll be five spaces taken after these, this six here that I'm going to try and fill up. We'll take five of them, replace them with the calving cows, which will only leave five. Um, and then we'll just make sure that we do five more and after that we shouldn't really need to do any more because I think it's even though it's really good and I do like it just a little bit obviously buggy um, I am uh, kind of fed up with the the message that keeps popping up to be honest there we go job done so hopefully won't another one won't pop up straight away but the cows are happy, but let's just give a, have a quick look at what's going on. So the goats are pretty sound. Farrowing pen just needs the little piglets removing. They have gone down a bit on the feed, but that's because we've put more cows in. 
And the pigs are alright as well. Don't need to worry about that. Might need clean up with the manure so we can go and do that quickly. Uh, the chicken and the ducks. I do want to get rid of them, but I can't do anything until I've got enough egg boxes in storage. So I might actually go and bring over all the egg boxes because I have got quite a few now. We'll see how many we've got left. So at least that's done. So let's go and move this down because we are going to need this. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is move the piglets. Now I'm just trying to remember where I put the actual attachment for the rear of the tractor. I usually leave it up here, but I have been dropping things. Oh, I am lucky this time. I have left it there. Probably overkill with this piece of kit for this, but should do the job, and that's the main thing. Now we're going to have some meat packs as well, so we might be able to bring them back. But let's just quickly focus on this first. Probably shouldn't have chose this tractor because it it really doesn't have a, a very good turning on it with it being such a beefy tractor. There we go. So I'm, I'm going to just do what I normally do, just take them all. Hopefully not going to throw them about too much because sometimes if I walk too slow, then obviously I want to try and speed up. But if I go too fast, they go flying. Nearly then, that one did. It's weird how some like this, they just get to 3% and then another one spawns in. My theory on it is this mama pig keeps hitting them, knocking them, or they keep knocking each other because there is a slight animation going on. Um, and then when that happens, it just spawns another one in. What is that one doing to that one? I haven't got a clue. Right, so we're all loaded in, ready to go. We're going to have to take a time. Like always, we do fly about, which is understandable because <laughs> they are tiny little piglets. But they do make good money. But we're not going to make money from these. We're just having them for the one reason of filling up the actual uh, refrigeration storage area, which I think is such a cool idea. So when I get over to the actual butchers, we're going to drop these off. We're going to try and fill this up, I think, with as many meat packs as possible. Because I think now that they've got 250 litres in each milk, uh, meat pack, it really does help things. But it just means that we're going to have to put a bit more work in when it comes to the actual amount of animals we're taking there. So at the moment we're taking pigs. I don't think we'll take much else. We could take cow. I think the pigs just reproduce so much quicker and it just makes more sense. So our main focus is bacon and sausages. There we go, that's one in. It does take quite a while, doesn't it? Right, so there we go. I've dropped them all off in there. He's going to be busy. Let's see where he's at with this. So he has still got 18,000 pretty much to process through. Or is it the other way around? Yep, he has got that much. So let's just start taking a few of these. We may as well. Now, I'm very doubtful this is quite hygienic because I imagine on the journey down, the pigs might have pooped in the back of this and I'm putting meat boxes in there. But I'm They're all vacuum packed. That's what I'm telling myself. And they get disinfected when we get there, somehow. In fact, there's no pig poop. That's probably a better way of thinking. There's just no pig poop. And I haven't just dropped that on the floor as well. <laughs> Madness. Right, there we go. We'll leave the butcher to crack on. We are probably going to keep him quite busy. And we'll get back and I'll go and store these up. And we'll see, actually where we're at with the egg boxes. I can't quite remember how many egg boxes I did have in there, but I know I've got a lot waiting. Right, so let's go and have a quick look at the chickens. Now, I do need something to store the egg boxes. Now, I've got quite a lot, but 
still need quite a lot as well. I'm not going to be worried about the menu. It's not worth picking up. I'm just going to leave it. I'm trying to think what tractor to use. Probably bring this one down. And get that little trailer, hook that up to it. Should do the job pretty well. I do like these Deutsch Wars, especially the engine sounds. I think probably the most impressive sounds I've heard on an FS modded tractor has been these Deutsch Wars that I've been using so far on this playthrough because they just sound spot on. They really do. Some great effort's gone into them. So I'm hoping to just chuck these in and keep them on a steady travel. We haven't got to go too far. There we go, that should be fine. Definitely enough room for what we need. Oh, not this again. Same button. Why would they make it the same button? It makes no sense, does it? Mental. It's the physics for me as well. Like, if you pick something up in this game and drop it into that, like, if I walk forwards, watch this. Look at it. Spasming. Makes no sense. Farm sim physics. That's the one thing I hope the physics. I really do hope they fix the uh, kind of physics in this game coming into FS22 because sometimes it is very difficult, especially when you're walking and then you all of a sudden you kind of like jump over it and it flies and just goes everywhere. The forklift as well. Anything that you pick up with the forklift, the pallets, they are a nightmare. So fingers crossed, they've definitely looked into that. These chickens have definitely been busy. Right, so that's pretty much... I'm happy with that. I think the feed's okay, but let's just have a quick look at how the chickens are getting on. I think after this, all we need to do is the breeding bulls. So they do need a bit more wheat. They are quite low. I'm not going to worry about the wood shavings anymore. Uh, so I'll quickly just give them a bit of wheat and then we'll move over to dropping these egg boxes off and then straight over to the young bulls. Well, that looks much better. I've only got four boxes left, and then we can get rid of the ducks and the chickens. It is filling up pretty pretty quick on that side. Full on the milk. I think the suckling pigs are probably going to be the bit where it takes uh, yeah, a bit of time. But overall, we're doing pretty well. We've got more cheese going on. So let's just shut this up. I'll have just a quick look at the cheese just to see where I'm at with that. I'm probably still on the first one. Yep. But we've got plenty got plenty of milk so we'll keep that going we'll just have to keep coming back and checking on it a bit like the um, yeah a bit like the uh, Silphy that's processing the biogas even though that is taking forever it looks like a bit of rain's just hit right so the next thing we need to do is just go and sort out the young bulls and then we need to move over all the slurry after that only just about see the rain because of the uh, shader that I'm using so I don't know what that'll look like on video you can see it there but when it's dropping to the ground it's not that obvious anyway let's go and jump over to this what we want the fence and we'll have a look, go around and sort out the actual uh, feed now I think they're fine for straw we don't have to worry about manure. But I, I am certain they're fine for straw. But we will just have a quick drive around. Just to double check. Plenty of feed as well. That I did sort out, so the trailer should be full. Yeah, got plenty of straw. Don't have to worry about it. So this is going to be pretty simple. Just drive around and uh, yeah, give them the feed. So let's unhook the weight and I might even take off 
the actual front loader. So let's just swing this around, park it up in a better place. There we go. Job done. Now, luckily, I'm not on seasons, so I don't have to worry about the fact that it's raining and the straw's out in the field because nothing's going to rot away, which is much, much better. It really is. This manure is piling up. I can imagine if these animal sheds, these cow sheds, fill up with the young bulls, that is going to pile up like mad. I don't know if it gets to a certain point as well where it says you cannot fit any more manure on the floor. I imagine it does. I'm also hoping up, hoping that it piles up pretty well. There we go. Now I don't even think that the couple of actual breeding bulls that I, I have been neglecting them and sending them to uh, do their business. So, probably should keep an eye on these and maybe try and be a bit more productive with them. We have got four. We should always keep one active, but I have been neglecting that. So what I need to do is bring over to here. I think this point, maybe not so much that point, but we'll just have a quick look. So this has got 19,000 litres of slurry. That the breeding bulls have got 2,300 and we've got 15,000 over there. Now we can hold 30,000 so we don't need to worry about that one. So I'm hoping I just pull them up to it. Because I haven't got a hose connection on the uh, tanker. So I am hopeful that I just need to back up. But, but there is only one way to find out. So let's get hooked up to the new motor which is this and have a quick drive. Yeah, I am sure there's no connection. No, there isn't. There we go. Tight squeeze, but it did it. The reason I bought this mainly is for slurry. I mean, I can use this for milk, but it depends if we ever get to that volume. I mean, we can only ever keep 30 milkers in that shed, that cow shed on the farm, but there is actually another pasture where it does have a robot in it, like a milking robot, so you could have more and then obviously use this to transport milk around and hold, put it in your holding tanks or wherever, just sell it straight if you wanted to, depends what you want to do. But there is options if you do want to expand out because 30 isn't really that much. It's definitely uh, small compared to other cow sheds. I mean, I know if you get to about 200 cows, 200 milkers, it's, it's quite a big job with the feed, the amount of feed that you do need. But that's the way I like to play. I haven't done it in a while. I did used to tend to have that more so when I wasn't doing YouTube since that point I've kind of we started off from scratch and then it takes a while to build up to that point and by that time I'm usually moving over to another and another map so I'm hoping now I just need to back up to it so let's just bring up the F1 menu and see if we get anything Gotta be a way of doing this without the hose connections. I hope so anyway. Right, so I figured it out and it's actually something pretty cool. So if you get into the actual truck and then you're obviously connected to the trailer, you can unfold it. And at the back there's two connections, which is awesome. There's one for the bigger hoses and there's one for the small hoses, so Hopefully I've backed this up enough. Just about. Nope, didn't like that. So let's just reverse it a little bit more. There we go, that should be fine. I do like this now. This is now just easily become my favourite thing 
Well, not my favourite. How the hell has that just got so dirty? That's insane. Right, so I think I just need to open the valve and then we can start filling out of this. And there we go. Jobs are good and so we don't need the top open. And if we look at the back, we should be able to see the dial going up. There isn't one there to go down. I also think I saw one here, here. So if you're in the cab, you can look around. Probably better to do it that way. And even though we can't see it because the reflection off the light, I think I've actually got the lights on. There you go. So how cool is that? And if we could just have a quick look at the tank itself, um, if you go into vehicles and then go into the LSFM Universal Tank Pack, now there is two of these. You can get one as a separate mod and you can get one that's with the map itself. So when you download the map from the website, it comes in a package. Um, and this is where you find this gas one added. If you use the one that's just a single mod on the website, a standalone pack, it doesn't have this so make sure you use the one in-game supplied from the mod from the map as a package because um, if you don't like I said you won't have that one if you do want to use it anyway so you can tell there it holds everything I don't know how it holds wheat I wouldn't know how to figure that out probably maybe it tips in from the top of a silo maybe you can have it in there I don't know how it tip out I probably wouldn't want to try that, to be honest. But at least you can have all the liquids. You can have fat, calf milk, um, pretty much sunflower oil. Pretty, it actually would be really good for selling sunflower oil, this would. It's definitely something. Or vegetable oil, whatever you want to call it. But it's really good for the liquids. So if you were making your own herbicide or making your own liquid fertilizer, this would be really good. So that one's done. I have bought a pipe for each location. So we can leave that, we just need to close that off. We'll leave that there and then we'll move over to the next one. It's good to know though, because I was I was a bit unsure why it wouldn't have a connection on thinking that it's part of the map. It's made by, you know, Farmer Andy's team or Farmer Andy himself. So it'd be surprising to say the least if it didn't. I just think it's even better now because it actually got an animation of it, the door closing and opening at the back. Probably messed up a bit there. There you go. That should be fine. A bit close this time. I was a bit too far out the first time and a bit close this time. Maybe I can try and just, just a little bit. There you go. So there we go. We can just fill up. So you should probably do this quite often. Depends how many cows you've got. I, I, this is perfect time for me because it isn't too full. It's a tanker load and uh, yeah, it's one trip and I'm emptying it pretty much all out. So if you do want to try and keep on top of slurry, because um, fertilizing is going to be a big thing if you're obviously trying to use your own fertilizer, you're making your own liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, or you're using slurry or manure, I think probably slurry would be easier to use if you're not playing the seasons. I definitely think that. Um, I also want to try out the compost. Now, all I've ever done is made compost to sell, but I'm sure, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I am confident that you can fill up a manure spreader with it and then fertilise the ground, but I might be wrong. Best way to find that out? Yeah, you can. So, as you can see there, this fertiliser, if we decided to get like this manure spreader, you can see that it holds manure and compost. So you could always put some straw in to the bunker, let the uh, straw or grass or whatever is you put in there rot away and turn into compost. And then yeah, you're good to go, which is pretty cool. There's loads of options on this map for fertilising the ground. So let's just have a quick look. That's 6,000 litres left in this one. That's going to go down, but it's probably going to fill up. This one's empty. A lot of manure sitting around, over 50,000 litres. It doesn't look like that much. In fact, it probably does. Thinking about Sandy Bay when he used to play that, the amount of manure I used to get when he had over 200 cows was insane. It really was. 
There we go, 32,000 litres full up to the brim. Turn the pump off. And then what we can do is just disconnect this. Just try and get it out of the way. Close the valve off. The cows are all happy, all fed. And what we need to do is close this off. We'll take it back, full load. Now, if you wanted to use this to make digestate or sell it, I don't know if you can sell slurry. I imagine you can. You can do everything on this map. I'd be surprised. It's, ne it's not something that I've really focused on the slurry side, but I don't think you can, actually. It doesn't look that way. Oh, you can. You can sell it in bulk there and manure, so... That's not too bad. So you could go and take this full load now and sell it, but I'm going to store it up because I do want to do some slurry spreading on the map at some point. Because I did buy a slurry spreader, but I just haven't used it. A bit like the manure spreader as well. Swing that around. So I'll get back, and we'll drop this off, and then I think, depending on how long the video's gone, I think this might be a long one because of all the odd jobs. So I might just carry on and do a bit of uh, picking up with the new loading wagon at least, even if the video is a little bit longer. And then we can try and get some of it in the pit, and we'll start making some compost soon. Don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it all up, because it is a lot, two fields worth. But at least we can make a start. So this is the main slurry tank I'm calling, the slurry holding area. I'm going to start dropping it off and I might even park this up around here but just because I think it makes sense to have it close so let's make sure we align this a little bit better than that I think that'll be fine there so another thing I want to point out I don't know if you know with the hoses like these are yellow I don't know if you've ever seen yellow hoses before so there is two types of hoses that you can get you can get the standard ones by going into slurry um, slurry tanks like normal with the manure system mod um, and the ones that are supplied in there eventually will pop up they are somewhere there you go so you've got the slurry hose the five meter one and three meter one if you go in you've got a range of colors however with the LSFM universal tank pack there's also their own hoses and I would probably recommend to use these because they are made technically by the same person that makes the map the same team and also you can get loads of different colors so you can get red pink if that's what you're into and yeah just random colors so definitely try try that out if you didn't know that so I have got an extension on this one I thought it'd be easier so we need to make sure we open the valve what we want to do is also change the pump direction to emptying, which is Z, and then click the actual right button. Would help if I turn the engine on. There you go. So now we're emptying out. And that one's filling up. We've got over 40,000 litres already in here. So this is doing well. So I'll leave this to just crack on. And then we'll go and start picking up some of the uh, straw. It's not the best weather to do this, but luckily we haven't got seasons on, so we don't need to worry about the ground or the fact that it's raining. Right, so there we go. That's full up. Well, not full up, but it's fully emptied, if that's even a thing. 71,789 litres in here. Pretty good going. Got plenty of slurry for when we want to start doing that. So I am just going to park this up here. I think it'll be fine there. So turn that off. We'll make sure we fold that up and jobs are good. There is also, just right here, a point where you can store a hose. So I've got the extension there. I'm going to leave that one there. But there's also a few on the wall over here. So you don't need to put in your own. You can get some modded ones, but they are supplied to you on this map, which is just another thing that this map does <laughs> really well. So there is two calves ready to be moved over. Now, I am just going to go and quickly do that, but I'll do it and then cut back in when I get into the field with the uh, new pickup wagon, and we'll get cracking with a bit of that. But I do want to just move these over quickly. 
Again, there's another filthy hose. What's going on with my hoses? So, completely ignore what I was going to say. We've sunk it. It's beached. Um, <laughs> it's just... I've got the real mud mod on, so I've completely forgotten that the rain is actually going to have an impact. And this brand new piece of kit, I've got completely filthy. So, we're just going to have to leave it here in the state it's in. And then hopefully sort it out. So, on that note, I am going to leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.